How you guys doing? This is Hybrid Steel. Welcome to this video. Basically, I'm going to be going through the Gold Mining Simulator roadmap. Now, for all those people out there who don't know what Gold Mining Simulator is, it used to be called Gold Rush the Game. They had to do a rebranding. So, let's talk about this now. Obviously, the contract with Discovery after, what, seven years has finally come to an end. Gold Rush the Game became Gold Mining Simulator. Now they they did put out a massive they did put out an update I think it was like a 4 gig update on the 1st of April 2024 which in all hindsight now looking at it is probably the worst marketing decision ever made why would you do something on April Fool's Day it was just stupid anyways the uh, the update went through took an extra day to go through on PlayStation because well you know people don't work on bank holidays and then uh, I'm not sure if the update has gone through on Xbox by now I mean it should have but that comes down to Xbox. That's not Code Horizon's fault. They put their updates through on the right time. And just unfortunately, when it comes to like timing, as said, worst marketing decision ever to do on April 1st, basically takes an extra couple of days to get everything going. Now, apparently that's all working and all in now. And now it's all down to bug fixing. So if you do have any problems, go to the Code Horizon Discord. They have certain sections to like fix their bugs. And from there, you can, you know, interact with the rest of the community. I know there's a whole community you can actually talk to and the developers which are new guys and I'm going to get into all that right now. So major update coming to gold mining simulator and dear miners they will go for the spiel about developing gold mining simulator and here is the update. April rebranding leaderboards and seasons and bug fixes yes because there are quite a few bugs right now because the new updates do have issues when it comes to the PC PlayStation and Xbox. As said, if you do have any problems, go over to the Discord. We'll go. They'll go from there. First half of the year, DLC 2, Mini Mining Machines. All platforms, we will introduce new machines that will enrich your experience in the world of gold mining. Get ready for new opportunities to discover. And then later this year, DLC 3, All Platforms, we continue our journey to another major addition, bringing new adventures and challenges. Thank you for all the support, commitment, and developing a gold mining simulator. Your feedback is incredibly valuable. Yes, it is, by the way. So they would really like people to re like actually contact them with issues and so on and so forth. And let's get into this now. So let's go through the comments. There's 119 comments on here. And our first one is not so positive. Now I'm going to go off my own back and my own memory which is admittedly failing me in my older age which is slightly concerning you know but we'll get there eventually either that or um i don't know alzheimer's well we'll just have to see anyways so that was the, that was the mining update basically they're going to be releasing new content and guess why this is happening that's because the contract between them and discovery channel has been let's go into this from a I'm going to go, I'm, I'm probably going to be more on Code Horizon's side for defense on this. And the reason why is because I feel that there isn't enough people really understanding the why of things are happening. So here we go. The reason why these DLCs or updates and everything else are now actually taking place and going forward is because there is no contract between Gold Mining Simulator, or Gold Rush the Game, aka, uh, and Discovery anymore now if you are one of those people who still who own this game if you go onto it right now there is no branding for gold mine for gold rush there is no branding for discovery the whole game was basically take a bit of picked out all the bits of like you know there's a bit of discovery there's a bit of gold rush there and they went through the whole thing taking out all the things they didn't need anymore and put their own branding in reason why is because now they're free they're able to play this game and make this game however they want to see fit which basically opens up the floodgates they can now do whatever they want with their game they're not constrained by whatever was in the contract between them and discovery they're now free agents so now the updates are going to start coming in which is good so first comment in page one one comment nemo second of april admittedly yes i am two days late to this i have been busy i have a sort of life so no free new content anymore when was the last free piece of content now i can answer you that there has never been any free content ever there may have been a free a, a free skin here and there but never actually anything free until these developers took over. Admittedly, their free piece of content was the um, the little ATV thing. 
I'm not a big fan of it, and I don't think anybody else is. But hey, it's free. I suppose that's why maybe what they're actually talking about here. But for what I completely understand in my memory over the last sort of seven to eight years, there has never been anything free. The DLC that came into this game, which was DLC Pack 1, which was the Frankenstein pack, you had to spend, I think it was £4 on that. Ooh, shock horror to those people out there with, like, really shallow pockets. You know, it was that bad. Next, com next, next comment, yawn. Are you tired, sir? Would you like a st would you like a chair? We can arrange that for you if you're getting old. You know? Mini mining machines laugh my fucking ass off. Yes, because that's the first thing they're actually going to be working on. Congratulations for stating the obvious. Now, guess what? This means they're able to do this because they weren't able to do it before because Discovery had a contract. <sighs> Shock horror. I know, but if you have to like. You know, let, let's say this is a brand new mobile phone and I have to put it into the computer game that I've been building. Now, in order to put this phone in, I would have to talk to a con the owner of the contract, which means they're going to have to talk to other people to see if they can get representation for this mobile phone. And then we can maybe put that in the game it's in six months. Now they're able to actually lift the uh, embargo on basically doing anything. It means they're able to actually work on the game. I know, it's amazing. Seven years later and they're now free to do this sort of thing. It's brilliant. As I said before, so this person has spoken before, unfortunately. Uh, loud but empty statement, mini mining machines, vicarious embarrassment. So let me get into this. Oh, let me just get comfortable quickly. So what you have to consider, and there was never any formal announcement about this, was that the game has brand new developers. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put in a bit of lore into this whole thing now. So Code Horizon... Up until, I think it was early part last year. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure because I wasn't really paying attention back then. I was playing other games and doing everything else in my life. Now, what happened was, is the old team of Code Horizon just sort of... So somebody waved their magical wand and Expelliarmus! And off they disappeared into the ether. Never to really be seen again. And this basically means that Code Horizon had to start again. New team were brought in, and new team were basically told, hey, here's the game that we're working on. We need to basically, we're, we're going to be going through a big phase soon. The contract's coming to an end with Discovery, and we need to basically carry on support for this video game. So we've got a couple of things lined up. We need to keep the season mode going for like existing players who actually care about the game, who are actually here to support, and everybody else is going to get really pissed off with you. That's what I imagine that first meeting was. And the reason why I say this is because the community that support Gold Rush are in two states. You've got the people, who, a bit like me, who go, well, you know what, it's a good game, I'll play it, I'll enjoy it, I'll be okay. I might do leaderboards, you know, I might ju I'm just going to kick by and just play the game and be happy. And then you've got the other team basically sitting on the other side of the fence with pitchforks, ready to basically have a go at everything you're ever ready, ever going to do. And these are the people that I would say are, I would say, the more asshole section of the community. Now, there are obviously varied sort of opinions when it comes to Gold Rush, or now Gold Mining Simulator. I will keep calling it Gold Rush because it's stuck in my head, has been for the last seven years. But you have this basically section of the community who every single mention of the word Gold Rush, they're ready to like pitchfork you to death and light their torches and burn your ashes. And then basically piss on you and sweep you into the wind. That's just how it feels. Now, could you imagine your first day of work? You're a young, sprittling man with his tie on, ready to go to work and ready to like face the new challenges of the day. And that new challenges is basically a pack of wolves ready to rip you apart as soon as you start work. That's basically what these new developers are like. Every single day, they went into the office, they would try and work on a few things, maybe post an update and say, hey, we're, we're doing on this, and all of a sudden, a pack of hungry wolves come in, rip you apart, and give you no reason for it. They don't know what's going on, because they probably didn't realise that the, uh, the other side of the community are quite toxic. And you guys are a bunch of bastards, if I'm going to be brutally honest. And I don't care about the flack I get from this. This game has been, in fairness, horribly, horribly left to die by the original Code Horizon team. Now, I get it. People are going to be a bit pissed off about it. And, you know, I'm probably one of them. I was annoyed that the old team basically just gave up and decided to call it a day and never really gave the community a reason for it. And these new guys came in and just went, oh, so what are we getting into? And it's like a battleground with, like, bomb craters everywhere. And just they're probably just sitting there going, bollocks. And that's just how I feel. So 
when I read through the comments like this and people just and we're only in like five comments in and already you're sitting there just going if you were new to this studio you would basically be wearing a full blown flak jacket and like army hat ready to get into a fight because that's what it feels like so imagine your first day at work you start getting down to it and you're like hey I'm just going to put this together I'm just going to oh, yep that looks good enough hey guys check this out and all of a sudden people just punch you in the face over and over again telling you you're useless oh what'd you do that for you suck you shouldn't be doing this you should make a better product you should be doing this imagine if that was your first day at work would you go into the corner and cry like a little bitch you probably would because you were sitting there just going oh, i am doing my job and all of a sudden i'm getting all this hate for it that's how these guys feel now this is the reason why i'm sort of on their side and the main reason for it is because there is no existence of the old code horizon team these are all new guys and the reason why there was never any update to go, hey, there's going to be a new team involved is because they knew it didn't matter what they said, you're going to get like a tsunami of crap just piling up on top of you. Like, oh, you can't do any better. Blah, blah, blah. You should let this game die. You should make a second game. How are they going to make a second game when they've got no money? And that's something that you guys have to like think about. The reason why they're going to be adding DLC packs into this game is to maybe scrape together some cash to keep things going. And if you've got any hope of Gold Mining Simulator 2, it would have been cool if it was called Gold Rush Simulator. Gold Rush the game too, but you know it's not going to happen. Gold, mi Gold Mining Simulator 2, then you have to support this project. And if you don't support it, then why are you still here bitching and moaning about it? Because like, you've got nothing else to do. Did your mummy just let you off the reins and go, hey, just go over there and play? And then you can just go and hang around with the other wazics in the corner, like trying to pick out and, you know, trying to pick on people because you think you're hard anyways really only dlc i was really ho i was really excited for the updates but now i am disappointed this was my first steam game congratulations you joined steam we don't care i played and i was and to see the new free co there's no free content future hybrid from not the guy that's talking to you right now I have spoken to the developers, the new developers, you know, the guys that took over originally. And I even asked some of the old school community members who have been here since, well, inception, I would say. And uh, they have assured me, apart from skins that were involved with the leaderboards and skins that were basically just put into the game as a, reg as a thing that happened, there has been no free content within Gold Rush at all. The only content that has been added into Gold Rush since the inception of the game has been either the stuff they added for leaderboards or the £3.99 pack you can buy, which is the Frankenstein and, you know, the Tier 5 equipment. It wasn't bloody free, was it? And there's going to be no freer stuff. I mean, you have got a quad bike, but it's, you know, I've mentioned this. It, let's get back to the video, shall we? Major updates. Laugh my ass off. Did they get excited... <sighs> Did they get excited in the roadmap? And this, this, they're basically Code Horizon and they're replying. Sorry for misunderstanding. Manually, we will update consoles. These platforms do not get any updates since launch. So since the update a while ago, when consoles were allowed to play Gold Rush, there has been no update for console. Do you know why? Because the old team didn't care about you. The old team just went, here, have the game, be happy. And basically gave you an earlier build that was ready to be played. And that's why you were never able to get gold nuggets. Mainly because of incompetence and retardation of the face when it came to the old developers. They just gave up and didn't care. That was just how it is. No multiplayer. It's so sad. It, uh, it's so sadly. So play alone. The, die alone. I don't know. No fun alone. Last year, can you, I know English probably isn't your like first language, but please try. Last year's most of community say multiplayer, but I don't know what happened. Why you don't want it? Number one, look at this. Okay, so this is where like naivety and ignorance come into play. Do you understand what adding multiplayer to a game does, or what you have to do? If not, here's layman's terms, because I'm a bit of an idiot, but here's where we go. In order to add multiplayer already into an existing game that's been hot fixed and patched for the last seven years with constant updates and bits and pieces, in order to add multiplayer, you have to strip everything that has ever been added to the game straight down to the end of the code and add multiplayer into the first layer of code. Okay, then you have to alpha test 
that section of code to make sure it's all like clicking properly. Then, if, if you're ready for it, you have to put the layer of graphics over the top. You know, normally bare, necess bare necessities like asset models, wireframes, that sort of thing. Just make sure things are basically working. It doesn't matter about bugs as long as you get that sort of, it, it all clicks and it all works. Multiplayer, that's, that's basically where we're at. And then, if that's working, that all needs to be alpha tested. Okay? And then it needs to be beta tested so we can start like bug fixing. So that's where alpha testing and beta testing comes. Alpha testing where basically you're playing almost a broken game as long as you can play multiplayer. Then after it's been added and you've got multiplayer kind of working, you then have to texture everything and make sure everything sort of works. And that, and that has to be alpha tested as well. Then you have to make sure that the dirt mechanics and all the other bits and pieces that are inside the game have to be all working all at the same time. And by the time you know it, and by the time you've got to a point where you have a completed game, you're looking at two to half, two and a half to three years worth of development, especially on a game that's as big as this one. When it came down to Hydroneer, just out of, just quickly, Hydroneer added co-op uh, Steam uh, split screen into the game. That took a year for them to basically strip the game back to where it was to add that and then put it all back together. It took a year just to do Hydroneer. So imagine doing that for this, where you have to add that coding in for a game that's as, as big as what it is. So, Officer Pepe, please be more vague. The level of detail here is upsetting. Okay, cool. So you're basically being an arsehole. Now, for all those people that have listened to me rant for the last couple of minutes, if you are enjoying this video, hit the like, subscribe, and notifications button. If you do have any like concerns or anything I'm not bringing up, down in the comment section, because I could probably answer you from there. Now, I'm not a member of Code Horizon. I'm not paid to do this video. I'm not paid to do anything. I just find like ignorance fun to like comment on. And it's just more fun if I can actually understand what people are talking about at the same time. I'm not a very bright spark, but when it comes down to this sort of thing, I'm, I'm quite happy to take the piss of it. DLC doesn't mean that it costs money. It could also be a free DLC. But since the game is a few years old and the structure and with the structural change, I think a prized deal, a, a prized deal, I'm, I'm going to assume priced, so you've changed, yeah, priced, uh, DLC is okay. The devs need to be paid too. The game isn't that expensive, so a DLC wouldn't be, well, exactly, I completely agree. This game's only 15 quid and a DLC, let, you have to, let's say you bought the Frankenstein pack, that puts your price up by £4, you still spent less than 20 quid for this game. And I'm paying in UK terms not anybody else's because I don't know the exchange rates right now but let's say they add the two free let's say they add the two DLC packs that are coming out the mini machines probably isn't going to be a lot you're probably mainly looking at three or four pounds right so ooh, 23 quid and all for a whole game not bad and when it comes to the other DLC I haven't got a clue they haven't really specified what's going into it I'm going to assume a fiver so less than 30 quid for a game that's been out for seven years and all the extra DLC that they're going to be adding in because they're free to do so because they're not under contract to discover anymore are you seeing where things are going? It's actually cheaper for them to add to this game and make it better than build a whole new game that's going to take four to five years to develop and add all this stuff in as well. I can see why they're doing DLC. Cyber Chupacabra. I love the name, actually. That's amazing. I'm okay with the DLC. It's a small game in a small genre. It's not like it's printing money, you know. After all, it's a business and that has to bring in money. Completely agree. Again, all good. Code Horizon replied. Code Horizon replied. So they are... Look, look, you never got this before. Like, when the old developers were in charge, they never, ever really replied to anybody on Steam. They never talked to anybody. They just swept it under the carpet. So... This new team, Code Horizon, are actually, like, actually replying to people. Uh, that, that shows faith, man. It's all good. Uh, any real chance of seeing modded equipment in the workshop? I'm going to assume, and I'm going to be brutally honest, probably not. And the reason why is because the game doesn't really... I don't think it needs mods. I think the problem with adding mods is it could screw up the code when it comes to leaderboards and stuff. And it could cause issues when it comes moving forward. And as this game it won't be complete, like, ever... Because they're going to be adding to it and making things work better and so on and so forth over time. Chucking mods in is a little bit, like, I would say sort of redundant. Because the people are going to just have to keep up updating and stuff. Ah, finally. A normal person. This is on page five. Void. Void Kravta. Yep, is that, is that Void Kravta? Yeah. I'm, uh, that's your name. I'm sorry if I've messed that up. I apologise. If you're watching this, I apologise for screwing up your name. So, I'm going to break this down per paragraph because there's a lot to go through and I think this will be the last comment I run through because I, I think we're going to end on a positive note and a bit more commenting, which is good. 
Jesus Christ! I have rarely seen such a jaded community. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I completely agree. Uh, might rightfully, and maybe rightfully so, but I'm still sorry for the new devs. Must be hard on their enthusiasm to just get to split, to get spit in your face all the time. This project is really a tough nut to crack, though. Community and budget completely run into the ground with a more with a most called for feature requiring basically a complete reinfor, refactoring of the code. It's just not financially viable. Do you remember that spiel that I gave you a little bit about, like, why multiplayer is really hard to add into this game? That's part of the reason. Funding. They just don't have it. And being spat on in the face every time they go to work, That's I've spoken about that as well. Basically, this community, and I'm going to call you all out, if you're sitting there behind a keyboard talking shit about this game, and you don't understand why things aren't being added in, or you're, you haven't been in the background, go and talk on their Discord. Go and actually talk to these people, because they are there. You can talk to the developers right now or you can talk to the other people that are there that have basically been fee fed the information that they can pass on to others so we can start like talking to you about it as well basically go and talk to them because if not you're just an arsehole on a keyboard i mean i'm one of them too but i'm just saying that's how you are you come onto a comment section about a game that's basically being updated and resurrected from the dead just to call it out and say it's shit but what what have you done with your life if you think you can do better go and get some money right take your wallet take your money go and code a video game right and then push the video game out right and then, and then sit back and go yay i've got 100 people playing my video game and then 75 75 of those people telling you multiplayer should be added and then you'll completely understand why certain things don't get added into games when they're finished. Do you know why so many games nowadays have multiplayer in them? Is because of people like you, who sit there and complain about multiplayer so much that multiplayer gets added into everything. And then 10 years later, you're all complaining that there's too many games with multiplayer in it and you want something single player. So where the fuck do you stand on the middle ground? You can't. You either make everybody happy by adding multiplayer in, that means stripping the game back and completely going for everything, or pissing off a few nuts just because they, they're making a half-decent game. I say half-decent because it is buggy in bits and pieces here and there, so it's not a full-decent game. We're just getting there. So the answer is rebooting the series, Gold Mining Simulator 2. A game to make things right, the economic since people all need all will need to pay for it, of course. But doing that needs money because devs need to be need to eat and sleep like all of us. Completely agree. And we all know that a niche game like this doesn't attract the big investors. Precisely. Now on that note, the big investors are people who, in this in this day and age when it comes to this game, you're looking at companies that supply mining equipment. So companies like a, um, like MSI, or the people who make sluice boxes, or gold wave tables, or that sort of thing. Now, being that they are now no longer under contract of Discovery, they can approach these other companies to maybe put stuff in. But that means that they, this is the infrastructure that has to be laid down now in order to move forward for the next couple of years. Me personally, trying to make Gold Mining Simulator 2 would only work if they got the funding to finish this game the way it is and carry on. The problem with it is as the game has been pushed into the ground and basically dug a six foot hole where the old developers used to sit and this game was just piled in on top of them, unfortunately the money's probably not good which means they need to make money, which means the development team, which are now working on this game, are now pushing out DLC packs to be able to make some cash so they can actually work on future projects, maybe even a gold mining simulator too. So if you do want to be part of that, maybe help out instead of stop bitching and moaning. So DLC, something that's doable, a nice gimmick people might want to have to get to some budget so the devs can actually able to make things right. Exactly. Congre I love this person already. Voyage, you're amazing. Uh, community understandably doesn't want to spend the, more money on a game that clearly passed is best before date and opening the workshop will complete the, with all their DLC which they desperately need to get some budget. This is the other thing. If you're going to open up the workshop and then add DLC into it, it's going to screw the workshop over so they can't do anything until the DLC is out and this game is sort of more completed. Now, I don't think adding a workshop is a good thing. I, I would say that the best thing you could do is maybe see if it was possible to work as a freelancer for them. So if you're going to add, if you want to add stuff into the game, maybe see if it's possible to take some of your spare time, 
build something you want to add into the game and see if Code Horizon will take your code, maybe for a couple of quid, and just say, look, we'll put it into the game, we'll give you a shout out in the credits, and we'll give you a £25 Just Eat voucher. I don't know. I'm just speculating. I don't even know how that works, but maybe you could work as a freelance for them and help the studio instead of moaning about them. Uh, but what everybody needs to understand here is we actually want a spiritual successor of the game or complete makeover with hope for all the features of the wish uh, for we need to take a leap of faith of this project or we'll just die I completely agree so if basically what void saying is that if you don't back this game and you don't want to spend on the money on the dlc and this game does just die altogether um you can't say anything about it because you didn't help simple you just left the game in the dirt and kept treading on it until it disappeared and this is part of the problem when it comes down to a toxic community basically bitching and moaning about it completely and never actually like doing anything about it apart from just treading it more and more into the ground and hoping it would just basically revive itself one day like the story of jesus christ hey you've come back from the dead that's what this game is doing this game is literally trying to not bury itself with the hatred that you guys are putting towards it and literally sitting there trying to bring itself back from the dead to basically bring a game that people actually enjoyed and like I said, the old dev team just didn't give a shit about you. The new dev team are basically putting their blood, sweat and tears into this, trying to make something you guys might actually like. Even if you don't agree with all the DLC and plans they have in the future, what you have to admit here is it takes guts in order to, like, to stand up against a community who basically hate you to bring a game back from the dead and maybe market it to a new group of people that might enjoy it. That I got this feeling at this point, and I'm going to be brutally honest, if you're an old school member of the game, and you're, t you're sitting there every time an update comes up hating on it, maybe you shouldn't pay attention to this game anymore. So the reason why I started paying more attention to this game was because when, it f when I was playing through at the end of last year, and I was sitting there going, you know what, I want to do season mode. So I did, I went into season mode and I played on leaderboards. And genuinely I found a bit more of a passion for the game again. It's been a long time since I went, you know what, I really want to play. And then I went into their Discord and saw it was just alive. And the new devs were talking and they were sitting there talking about their plans and what they're going to do and all this other stuff. And it genuinely gave me a little bit more hope, even without seeing all this DLC crap going on in the background. It gave me hope that the new devs were actively in the Discord talking to people instead of just sitting on their own little private screen, not really worrying about what was going on in the world. They just don't care. These new guys were there actively trying to talk to you and trying to like bring more faith into the community and say, look, we are here, we are working on this, but it's really hard when everybody keeps treading on us and telling us we're, we're doing a shit job. Yeah, I, I get it. I really do. To the devs, you could add another supporters pack for the DLC. For those who are really... Exact, I would. I, I've got to be honest, and I'm going to be brutally honest right now. If they came up with a supporters pack tomorrow, and just like, hey, you can get like the mini machines pack. We're going to give you a couple of extra bits. We'll put your name in the game as well. We'll give you... There'll be a wall. And it will just be all the names of the people that wanted to support us. I would pay for it. And the reason why is because I actually believe this game could be something good now. Without discoveries like hold over the company, like, no, you can't do anything until we say so. Now they're able to do stuff. I would actually, you know, if it was a £10 pack, screw it, I'll do it. Like, tomorrow. Like, hey, go, here's a tenner. Go off and help this game to be made. Because I think it needs it. I think it needs to be kicked in the ass again. And basically just like, if you want to make this game better, we, we have to be a supporting community. That's just how it has to be. Right, this guy's got a good suggestion. I'm going to end it with this one. Okay? And this is a good suggestion. To the devs, here's a tip. Please consider contacting Volvo or some other companies and ask if you could license their machines as DLC packs for the game. You could create a fleet of officially branded vehicles suitable for gold, gold mining. This game does have solid base of where to build and improve on. It also has play. It also has the player base. And for example, Volvo DLC would surely bring you much need. I completely agree with this. And this is what I'm sort of getting at when it comes to now the game is now open source. Instead, well, it's not open source, but it's now open. It's away from contracts. It's now free to do what it likes. This sort of thing, this whole like getting sponsored by a company like Volvo or MSI or anybody else in that whole like gold mining world, which supply equipment. They could now approach them and say, hey, we used to make Gold Rush the game. We now had to rebrand to this. 
we can we sort out a, maybe like a side contract where we're going to take on like designs of yours we're going to put them into the game we're going to release like let's say a vo let's say uh, we're going to work on this example here we're going to release a volvo pack which is going to come with an excavator a front loader a dump truck and we're going to package this up for like three dollars and 99 cents a piece and what we'll do is out of that three dollars and 99 we'll give you one dollar for every sale that might work i don't know and then the extra 2.99 goes towards development for the game and it carries on gets bigger and then they can make the second game it, it just needs that little snowball effect to get things running now i've been basically partially negative about the community on this and rightly so most of the people who commit who basically communicate with gold uh, gold mining simulator the game or gold rush the game as it was called basically if you're one of those people who sits behind their keyboard just being negative then i would basically just give up your side hobby here just stop talking to them all together and just let them get on with it the reason why is because the new developers don't need your basically asshole remarks every five seconds just because the game isn't the way you want it if you want that game to be that way make your own pissing game it is that simple now there are lots of resources out there you can go and learn all the coding humble bundle does do coding bundles as well you can go and learn python or other com uh, code for games and you can go and create your own video game and then you can have the community moan at you because you fucked up in your games or you basically will get to a point where you stop supporting your game and then you've got loads of angry pe people with pitchforks trying to burn you because you stopped playing your game that's where these guys are up to it's a whole new development team taking over and being like hey guys you know we're, we're just trying to like resurrect this game and try and make it better there's no money left in the kitty if you want us to build another game we need support on this one we need to keep things rolling I would say that's where this is. I would say if if these DLC packs sell well, then Coderizing could move forward and make extra cash ready to make either a second game or expansions to this one to bring it into the 21st century. Because the game is a little bit like left behind now. The graphics do feel a bit sluggish and the game does feel a little bit old, but still enjoyable if you're if you're into a gold rush. When it comes down to future development, they have to rely on us to do this because they can't just magic $300 million or whatever and put it into a games developer and say, hey, we need to build this new game. That's cool. We can now pay for it for the next six years. They're, if they if they want to build a secondary game, they're going to have to spend a long time doing this. And they're going to have to basically pace themselves when it comes to money and resources and keep things rolling. Now, if you're one of those people who are like, oh, you guys are crap, blah, blah, blah. They don't need your help. They don't need your money. They don't need you. Go and play something else. Go and be happy on the toxic pile of assholes that basically amounts every day when it comes to people not liking what's in a video game. For all the people out there who are more supportive of Code Horizons, new making the way forward. People like myself, because I've got to be honest, even if I don't play it all the time, I'm still a massive supporter of the game. And the reason why is because I feel like it's been hard done by. The community didn't really stick together when the old developers basically fudged off and disappeared and some of the members of the community kicked back and basically stayed around ready to basically pick it all back up again now i feel i'm like i'm one of those people it's been i've been away for a long time then i came back to this game i'm in the discord i'm basically paying attention to what's going on now and all i do see is negativity from a lot of people i'm one of those people i'm willing to give this company a chance and the reason why is because it's not the original company the old company i'm going to be honest the old people who used to work on this game at my point in view they can go and rot for all i care they basically buried this game to a point where it didn't have any support or anything else and they really just gave up on the player base and the game itself and just didn't give a shit about you that was just how it was these new guys i feel like they're doing something positive even if you don't agree with their direction it's still being worked on and it's still being made and that's a good thing right so i'd love to hear your thoughts and i know that i've been horrible to like some people and i actually at this point don't care but most people are horrible to me when it comes down to me having an opinion i'm always going to get positive i'm always going to get negative the joys of being a public space i actually really don't care it's just my opinion and the way i see the world and if you don't agree with me then so be it go your own separate way go and climb your own hill and go and die on that one for all i care but for what i'm getting at now is i think we should just give this company another chance because it's not the same company it's a whole new bunch of animals and they're ready to get their teeth stuck in and even with dlcs that have been announced that you might not like the look of at least they're doing something decent at least they're trying and if they're trying that's always a good thing they're not letting this die easily 
So thank you very much for kicking by. This has been Hyrule Steel. If you have enjoyed this, hit the like, subscribe, and notification button below for all other updates. And I will be back here with a brand new video, live stream, or whatever else I do on the channel. Until then, peace out. Have fun. Enjoy everything you guys do. A boom. Fist bump to you.